This dangerous scene made me feel scared to the point of suffocation. In the midst of the extremely strong, rushing water, a horse was swept away and stuck between a log. The storm was so strong that it swept away everything in its path, making no one dare to come close. The people standing on the shore were very scared and did not dare to rescue the animal. The poor horse was almost submerged, with only its head sticking out of the water. His eyes were filled with fear and pain, desperately begging for help. Just when it almost had no chance left, suddenly a brave man jumped down. He grabbed the rope tied to the tree and gradually approached the animal. Everyone was so nervous that they held their breath with every step the man took. The situation is extremely dangerous, just a moment of negligence can lead to loss of life. The current was so strong that he could not stand but still did not give up. Taking advantage of the log's resistance, the man finally approached the animal. He tried his best to pull it closer to shore. But this is not simple, the horse is too big and the force of the water is very heavy. Trying for a while made him exhausted so he had to retreat and find another way. The man quickly returned to the shore and discussed with others. At this point, the horse was about to not be able to stand any longer, it hung its head on the log extremely tired. The man kept coming back with a rope in his hand. He tried to secure it to the animal's head. Then everyone joined forces to pull it. The horse finally slowly moved closer to the shore. It put all its strength into trying to stand up and fight against the water that was waiting to take the animal's life every moment. It seems that the animal itself is trying to regain its life. The moment everyone cheered and rejoiced, the horse stood peacefully on the shore. Thanks to their efforts and rare courage, kind people successfully rescued the poor horse. Thank you for watching the entire video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us.